Hey everyone, in this video we are talking about Rolle's Theorem. And Rolle's Theorem is just a special case of the mean value theorem. So, for example, if you have a function, let's say it looks like that. If you're trying to find the mean value, the c, where the slope at that c has the same slope as the two endpoints, well that's going to be a slope of zero, where it's just a horizontal line. So what makes this different from the mean value theorem is that in Rolle's theorem, f prime of c, the slope of this tangent line, is going to be zero instead of just some number other than zero. So let's do an example. We are going to find sine x over the interval from zero to pi. So the first thing is let's remember the formula. f prime of c equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a. In this example, a is equal to zero and b is equal to pi. So f of b will be sine of a, which is zero, minus f of b will be sine of pi over a minus, sorry, b minus a, which would be pi minus zero. Sine of a, if you think about your sine graph, let's call that pi over two, and that pi, sine looks like that from zero to pi. So at zero, sine is equal to zero. At pi, sine is also equal to zero. So this will simplify down to zero minus zero, which is zero, over pi minus zero. Zero over pi is the same thing as zero. f prime of c equals zero, and that's how we know we're using Rolle's theorem. It's because the derivative at point c equals zero. So then what we have to do is go back into our original f of x, which in this example was sine x, and we'll just change that to be f of c. f of c equals sine, instead of using the variable x, just change it to the variable c. And then we'll take the derivative of that. So f prime of c would equal the derivative of sine is cos of c. We know f prime of c is equal to zero. So let's replace f prime of c with zero. Now we just need to ask ourselves, where does cos c equal zero? When c is equal to what number? Let's think about the graph of cosine. Just over the interval of zero to pi is all we need to worry about. So cosine starts high and it ends low at pi. So where is the um, y value of a coordinate equal to zero? Well, right here when it crosses the axis, and that will be at pi over two. You can double check that on your calculator. Type in cos of pi over two. Make sure your calculator is in radians mode, and you should get equals to zero. So our official answer would be c equals pi over two. If we go back to our original graph, that kind of makes sense because wouldn't a point here, the tangent line would just be a straight line, which is exactly what we would expect to find, since if we connect the two endpoints, we also get a straight line.